sandstone crystals to a skating dress. Now there's a lot of different methods out there, a lot of different glues, um, a lot of different pickup tools, but I'm just gonna show you what I have found works the best for me. I prefer E6000 as my glue. Um, there, it comes in black, white, or transparent, and you wanna make sure you get the transparent. It um, is stretchy, so it works great on four-way stretch materials. You can wash it. It pretty much lasts forever. The only downside to this is that there's some pretty strong fumes. So you wanna make sure that there's good air ventilation wherever you're working with it. But the E6000 is definitely the best glue on the market for putting crystals onto something that's stretchy. All right, so we're gonna start with that. You also want to get a wax tip pickup tool. This has a little ball of wax on one side and a little poker on the other side. So you can pick the stone up and then you can nudge it around if you need. There's a number of different tools out there. This one is really simple and I just find it, uh, it does the job really well. And then I also use a syringe. Okay, this is gonna give me really precise placement with my glue. I'm not gonna have as much smudging. So I'll show you how to fill that in just a moment. The syringe I use is a craft syringe. It's designed specifically for glue projects like this. I'm using one from a company called Creative Hobbies. They make a number of different tip sizes. I prefer the pink one. It's an 18 gauge tip and I just find that that releases the perfect amount of glue at a time. Okay, so besides our glue, our syringe, and our wax tip pickup tool, there's a couple other supplies you'll need. I always like to have something with plastic um, as a surface so that the glue, does, when it soaks through the fabric, doesn't get glued onto whatever's behind it. If you're using a dress frame like this, you can uh, wrap it in plastic and then put the dress over it. If you're doing a flat surface, then just I take a piece of cardboard, put some plastic wrap over it, and then place my project down over that. Um, if it's a dress, you want to put one side on each side of the cardboard so that the cardboard's in between the layers and you're not gluing the layers together. Um, so you'll want that. And then you, I have a piece of scratch paper just so that I can, um, any excess glue can drip onto that instead of my work surface. And then of course you have your flat back crystals. Um, Swarovski is definitely the top of the line crystal, but there's a number of other ones out there. I just keep them in a little dish and you're going to want to work with them with the crystal side up and the flat side down. So you can kind of go through and turn them over or you can do that as you go. But um, so you have all your supplies ready and we're ready to get started. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to fill your syringe. We're going to take our plunger and pull it out pretty easy. I'm going to open your E6000 and squeeze from the top. You're going to put some glue in there. The nice thing is this glue um, does stay solvent for a little while. So if you have a project going on, you probably can use this glue about 24 hours. But after that, you're going to need to either clean your plunger out or um, if you want to toss the syringe and start over, that's fine. I'm just going to push that that uh, plunger back in. One of the things I really love about using a syringe is you can pull back on the pressure in between drops of glue. And this helps you keep from having glue just keep spilling out. That's a problem when you just take it straight from the bottle. The glue just keeps oozing out and you waste a lot of glue that way. Okay, so we have our plunger full, we have our marks on our material. We're just gonna apply a little drop of glue. You don't need very much. And then I'll just kind of spin it across the fabric and that kind of cuts off this, the stream of glue. You can apply several um, dots and it stays wet long enough that you don't have to worry about it drying before you get your crystal on there. All right, so I'm just gonna do a few of these. Okay, then I'm gonna take my pickup tool. You just tap a crystal, set it down on the fabric and it releases just like that. It's really easy. Go. 
as you can see, when you use this method, it's really fast. You're not um, having to bother with glue strings all over the place. And again, if you're not perfectly happy with where you want the stone, you can use this tip to move the stone into place. The glue stays wet just long enough for you to do that. Okay, then we go back to our syringe and we're gonna apply a few more drops now, if you get strings, because you get glue strings sometimes, I recommend waiting till you are done with your project and it's um, dried, the glue has dried a little bit before you try and deal with those strings. Um, if you try to deal with them while the glue is wet, you're gonna probably make a bigger mess and end up very unhappy. But if you wait till it's dry, you can kind of rip the, the dried glue off and that ends up a lot tidier looking. Okay, well there you have it. Pretty easy, you got your little string of uh, crystals these dry within about 24 hours I mean they're dry faster than that but you want to leave it 24 hours before you actually are gonna wear the outfit so if you were doing this last minute you want to do it at least a day before your competition okay to give these um, crystals time to set in there but it's pretty fast I hope you guys all enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.